Hello folks, welcome to Yada Belly's Kitchen and today we are doing a, a little quick, it's another quick and easy um, recipe guys. And I have here some chicken breast that I have washed and cleaned, yeah? And I'm just gonna do a quick slice. I'm gonna try to cut these on the bias and then I'm gonna try to uh, add some ingredients to them to marinate it. I want to do something unusual with this chicken breast, guys. So um, you have to bear with me. This is not a known recipe, so to speak. It is something that Saint Hope uh, Yard Belly is just doing as we go along. So work with me, guys. All right. Now. Chicken breast is one of those meats that if you don't do it properly, it dries out on you. So you're gonna want to pay attention to this procedure if you plan to redo this uh, dish any at all, right? So see, I have them, them cut like that. All right, so I'm just gonna add this back to my bowl. I have one more and I'm gonna do the same thing to, to that one. Right, so we have a chicken right there. Mm -hmm. Let me wash my hands. And I'll be just using herbs, you know, herbs and fresh ingredients for this one. And it's not gonna be a lot of stuff. I'm gonna start with my green seasoning trusty green seasoning that I made from scratch. It's in a it's in a sofrito bottle but um, it's still made from scratch. And I'm putting a heaping tablespoon of green seasoning. I can put a little bit more. I really like the green seasoning. Mm-hmm. So I put that first. Oh my spoon drop. And then I have here some some jerk yeah my trusty honey jerk dip from Caribbean savories and I'm again I'm not being paid for endorsing any companies I'm just using the products that I do like all right and I'm not using a lot because the wifey afraid of the pepper but I'm using a little jerk maybe a teaspoon of honey jerk wet sauce and then I'm gonna grab some powdered seasonings uh, I'm using some Mexican fiesta seasoning it's a little bit of chipotle seasoning you know it has chili tomato and, and a little cumin yeah And I am using the most of the wrong container. I'm going to take them in now. That's me. I say, where me get them, them something there from? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to write thing now. I'm going to write something. I'm adding a little bit of my garam masala. Yeah, maybe about half a teaspoon. I am adding a little bit of coriander seeds, uh, ground coriander rather. Yeah. I am adding my um, Jody's Kitchen. And yeah, that's about it. I'm mean, not put nothing more in a this as it is right now. Yeah. So. And you just pretty much want to mix them in and incorporate your seasoning. Oh, I have to add a little olive oil, guys. In order to make your seasoning, to get your seasoning to, to go in and really and truly marinate into the meat, it's always good to add a little oil. So I'm using um, some extra virgin olive oil here. Yeah. 
about a tablespoon and I also am gonna use some black pepper and I have my stone mill black pepper here also about half of a teaspoon and the last thing I'm gonna add is some Lee Kum Kee oyster flavor sauce yeah and you can add about say about a tablespoon or two tablespoons depending yeah about two tablespoons uh, depending on your you know your preference all right and I'm gonna leave this to marinate it smells so good you notice I don't put any country pepper no I'm gonna put the country pepper because I'm gonna put the jerk seasoning already I'm gonna put no I'm scotch bonnet all right so you're just gonna cover this and leave it to marinate for about say 15 minutes thereabouts and then we move on to the next step in the evolution of this chicken dish uh-huh this much it's been about 15 minutes or so and I am ready to get kick my my dish off let me just show you what I have here I have some asparagus and I'm gonna just snip the ends of the asparagus all the white section of the asparagus I'm gonna snip that off I have some onions and some garlic I have some mushrooms here and I wash these mushrooms because many never like how them look and they start to look dirty men I like mushrooms they have you know little little stone in them and so, so I'm wash them with some salt and some vinegar that's why they have this little brownish look and over here I have some callaloo yeah Jamaican callaloo and what I'm gonna make guys is chicken packets yeah I'm gonna roast them in the oven but I just figure it's you know do something different so my chicken is marinated has been marinated for for as I said 15 minutes or so and I am ready to start assembling my dish yes I'm ready to start assembling all right so let me just see if I can do one and I, guys I promise you I never did this before so bear with me all right all right so I put on some onion yeah put on some onion right there then I'm putting a little bit of callaloo on top of the onion. Mm -hmm. See that? See that? Make a nice little bed. Yeah, yes, yeah. Then I'm going to take some of my chicken strips and just start layering them on top of the callaloo. And guys, I'm going to wash my hands my hand them clean. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. See that? See how that look? And then the next thing I'm gonna do is take up my asparagus. I'ma just have a snip. Snip off some of the asparagus, the the tough part. Because the don't have the white part is sort of hard. And you just Put your asparagus on top of your chicken. See that? Let me snip off some more. Yes. You just want to layer your asparagus down. Yes. Uh-huh. And guys, I mean, it's a, it's a weekday dish. It's an easy, you know, roast chicken-ish type of thing. Yeah. And then, I'm going to go back and put some mushrooms down mm -hmm. on top of that yes put down some mushrooms and some scallions yes put down some scallions and come back again with some more color you know to just seal off the top 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. See there? See there? I'm going to have some garlic here. I'm going to cut up some garlic. Yeah, I'm just going to cut up them garlic here. On top of that, the flavor, my callaloo. Mm -hmm. and, and guess what? You can do it in a year one way. You know, if you follow me, you can use the same ingredients them and layer them however you, however you want. To be honest with you, I am so upset because I should have had some water crackers and I never realize I'm not on the water crackers. Because I put some water crackers in there too. I make it do like Jamaican steam fish type of thing. You know? Then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add the coconut oil. Yes, I'm going to add some extra virgin coconut oil to this. And if you notice, coconut oil is like solid at room temperature. See it here? And I got this from Aldi, guys. And once again, as I said, I'm not being paid for endorsement. So the coconut oil come like spread. So you just add it. You see? Look. You just add your coconut oil. Let me see if I can fix the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing properly. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah. I'm just put some coconut oil on the top. Normally, you'd use butter. Right, but we're going LT. We're going LT. So we are using some coconut oil. Yes. Now, I have some crackers, right? But these crackers are not Jamaican water crackers. And I'm thinking that I'm going to use them. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put them in it because I don't like my crackers all soaky soaky. I trust the water crackers to maintain the soaking. And the gravy and stuff, but not this them type of crackers yet. No, no, sir. I may put a little bit more of my green seasoning. Yeah, just to just to spice it up. Yeah. Put a little more of my green seasoning. Now the green seasoning come with juice. And you need a little juice, you understand, to keep the chicken breast from you know drying out yeah so yes guys me like how that look it look very 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 healthy and then you just want to seal up your package yeah bring your package together like so and try to make sure that you seal it as much as possible so that the liquids inside do not escape all right, so you have a seal of your package. Yes. See that? Just twist it and fold it and twist it and fold it. And then you bring over that piece like so. Bring over that piece like so. And you have a sealed package like so. Mm-hmm. See? Sealed package with your chicken breast. All right? And so I'm going to do the rest of them. And then we're gonna put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how it's gonna be. All right, so I'm get end up with four package of um, chicken, and I'm just gonna put them in the oven now. I set the oven to 400 degrees, and I'm gonna put them in the oven. I can't give you oven time until afterwards because you know, so it's an experiment, right? So I'm gonna put these in the oven right now, and then when I'm finished. I'll show you how it turn out. Hopefully it turn out, turn out. All right. Okay guys, so I have just taken my fish out of the oven and it is piping hot. And I'm opening it now to reveal what's going on on the inside. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is just as all Jamaicans with the roast fish, you know, in, in foil paper in Jamaica. 
I'm going to put some carrot in there. No, you could have, you could, you, 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 I could have put the carrot in there to, um, you know, to bake with it, but can't bother sometimes, you know, to be honest with you guys. Can't be bothered sometimes. Yeah. So. Let's put some baby carrots in there. Got some organic baby carrots. And I have some wheat stone grown wait wait call it stone ground wheat crackers yeah come in i have my water crackers my jamaican water crackers so i'm gonna use them crackers yeah i set up my thing you see it so this is my roast chicken with asparagus and mushroom and callaloo all right and i mean a quick easy recipe for try in your neck of the woods yeah just take your time and do it after do and make sure say you get a nice meal for your family and join me once again in the kitchen and I try another uh, quick and easy recipe just like that mm hmm we are going to go touch it up now the wifey you can put some rice with this if you want to guys you know if you, you know if you do this by itself you can put some rice with it you know and make it nice you can add all your little stuff to the night. Yeah. Where Joshua there? You want some you want to come taste this? Josh, Daddy you. Josh, come taste this for me. Mmm. Tastes good. Sorry to be eating on camera. Where's the chicken? Oh. Where's the chicken? That's your your favorite words. Where's the chicken? I right, have to go eat the whole of this because I can't cut it. You know, I want to rip the foil. Are you sure that is not fish? It look like fish, though. No. Come. Mm. Tell me it is. Ooh. It's good. Hey, the oh, it, the fish. it's chicken. <laughs> It is that fish though. Yes, that's how I wanted it to taste. Just like how you do roast fish. Alright guys, join me in the kitchen once again for another quick and easy recipe from Yardy Belly's Kitchen. And remember, check out the description box. I said all of that already. Just continue to love and laugh and cook and eat. God bless you, each and everyone. Mm -hmm.